and welcome to my closet. Today we are going to do a tour of my closet slash office. I think it's called a clothis. Am I making that up? It might be. Who knows? But whatever it is, let's get into it and see this beauty. So I'll give you guys a quick overview first. So I do work from home um, and I run a little business from home. So because of that, we dedicated a room to my office and I decided to make half of that room my closet so that I wouldn't impede on my husband's space in our bedroom. So I have made half of this room a closet and the other half an office. And uh, you guys will see the office is the less pretty part um, just because it's got to be functional. So I made it as pretty as possible, but there are still some things that are not so appealing and you guys will see that. Um, but the closet side, I'm pretty proud of. Um, I con married my closet actually um, when we shortly after we moved into this new home. And um, you guys will see a video of that. Obviously, you guys have seen that on my channel um, of my con mari process. And this is the result of that con mari. And I've been pretty good at not acquiring new things that don't bring me joy. And um, I'm pretty happy about this. this. Is what I wanted my closet to feel like, to be spacey airy and just pretty. Uh, so the closet space was, is the Ikea pack system. And we had a few of the pieces um, at our old home that we used for our closet, our combined closet. And I just added, I think, two more sections, one or two more sections I added to it to kind of make it fill up the space. And we got so lucky that on this wall behind me, we're able to literally fill wall to wall. It is a perfect fit. We have to take off the baseboards around the side because it is that snug that we need that extra like baseboard, you know, inch or however inch and a half space that is to make it fit snugly and it fit perfectly. The only thing left to do in this closet is we eventually want to put up some crown molding up top and um, potentially around the bottom as well to make it look like more of a built-in system. But I figured that might not be happening anytime soon, so I'll show you guys the closet before that happens. And whenever that does happen, I'm sure I'll make some upgrades and changes to the closet and I'll do another closet tour when that time comes. But for now, we can get started with the closet tour. So we're going to start off with the entryway into my closet slash office space. Over here behind the door, <laughs> uh, we've got my little not so pretty display of hanging things. And over here I tend to hang my little sweaters that I throw on when I'm working in my office. It's getting a little chilly. I throw one of these on. If it's just a cold day in general, I kind of grab one of these and throw them on. I also keep a little robe slash a kimono robe, I guess, in here. And the idea behind that is when the day is done, I come in here, take my clothes off in here, and put this on and head to my bedroom where my pajamas are stored and change my pajamas in there. 
but I'll be honest, I'm usually very lazy and my clothes end up in our bedroom. I try to keep my clothes all kind of contained into this bedroom because that's why it's a closet. Um, but sometimes I do fail at that, but that's the purpose behind this. Over on this wall here, we have a beautiful piece that a friend gave to me when we first purchased and moved into this home. Um, she brought it for decorating my office. It ended up on this wall because all my other wall space is kind of taken. You guys will see that shortly. Um, so this is the wall that it's currently on. I think it's a gorgeous piece and she got it from I believe HomeSense, which I'll refer to HomeSense a lot in the video for my American for my American friends out there, that is home goods. It's the exact same thing. It's just our equivalent. And I think Britain as well is also called HomeSense. Um so over here, this is what well, this was the bedroom closet. Um, this had a you know regular sliding door. I am not going to pull that open and show it to you guys because it is a disaster back there. That is where the hard work happens. My printers, my cutting machines, my paper, my all my hard work stuff, my uh, manufacturing plant is hidden behind this. And I did this. I took the doors off just because when I am working, I don't want to have to finagle, you know, moving doors back and forth. So when I am working, I pull the curtains wide open and I have full access to my little laboratory back there. Um, so that's why I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Boom. Messy. See? Not showing that to you guys. But that's what's behind here. So now we walk over to my first chunk of closet. So just an FYI, we did, this is an Alex unit from Ikea. We did purchase this um, in two separate, I guess, timelines. We had a first set that we used when we first um, did a little closet at our previous house with my husband. And it was our his and hers kind of situation. Um, so when I moved in, when we moved in here, I ended up adding two more units to kind of make it a full enclosed closet for myself. So over here, what I do have is, let's fix that hanger. What I have here are my fun and flirty, light, summery clothes in a sense. They're all stacked here. I kind of marred my closet. My, this used to be rammed all the way to here that you couldn't even like slide the hangers. It was rammed. I did a good job if I say so myself. I definitely got rid of a lot of things. Um, so that's what's in here. These are beautiful regular black velvet hangers. Up top there, I have this little, they call it a valet hanger. And I'm able to just kind of hang clothes, from, put them together an outfit, I hang them on there. Um, up there I store boxes. Unnecessary boxes that I have no business keeping, but I do keep them anyway because that's just what I do. So I have boxes stored up there. And up here I also have more boxes for like my Pandora bracelets and receipts and things like that for items that I do end up keeping. So that's what's up there. Down in this corner here, um, it's my little pretty setup over here. We've got um, my kind of grab and go when I'm kind of setting up my bag for the day or for the week. I've got my little uh, toiletry 16 here. This houses all that I kind of need most times to really go anywhere. I've got lipstick, I've got Headphones, um, what else do I keep in here? Lipsticks, headphones, lip balm, eyeliner, basic things that I kind of grab on a day-to-day -day basis that I just take this entire thing, toss it in a bag. If I'm not taking a bag, I can grab this and literally leave the house with it. So that's what that is. Um, then over here, I've got my crossbodies hanging. So I've got my beautiful red piece here. I just love this, this guy. Um, another, this is my, uh, what is this called? Pochette accessoire. Um, I have that as well, just hanging back there as well. I choose to hang my two crossbodies there because these are my easiest grab and go pieces. I have like other things that are kind of in dust bags and other places, but these guys are by no fuss. I can throw them, do whatever I want to do with them, and they survive anything. I choose to hang them here. I also have this actually pulls out as well. I also have necklaces hanging on here, and these are necklaces that don't fit in my necklace drawer that I'll show you guys shortly. I just have them hanging here. And I'll be honest, I can probably get rid of a few of these because I don't ever really wear them anymore. So I might have to conmari a few of these necklaces here that I just never reach for anymore. Okay, um, this lovely, lovely glitter tray here was a special find from, it was either, everything comes from HomeSense, Winners or Marshalls. One of the three is where I got this from. They're pretty much the same store. Different names, Winners focuses on clothes, Home Sex focus, focuses on home, and Marshall's pretty much clothes. It's like half and half. So that's where this is from. I think it was like $8 or something like that. 
So let's get into my first drawer. This is also my valet drawer, is what I like to call it. And over here, I just store, again, things I can grab and throw into a purse. Over here, we've got my Apple Watch straps, all the different ones I've collected over the years. I've got an extra phone case that I used to use, no longer use anymore. I've got this beautiful gem here. It's an anchor phone charger. And it is, I don't know, it's not called a phone charger. What are they called again? Power blocks? I think they're called, yeah, something like that. Um, so what the purpose of this is, you guys know it's pretty easy, they are meant to charge your phone. So again, I usually grab that, throw it in a purse, and I'm good for whatever trip I'm going on. I've got my cards in here. These are pretty much all store gift cards that I have. And I always grab this whenever I'm leaving the house to go shopping because in case I end up going to these stores, I can have access to gift cards and actually use them and not put them to waste. This is a Jansport um, mini backpack. And I just love, love, love these little guys right here. It's by the brand Jansport. I own two, I own two of them. And they pretty much serve the same purpose for different things. So they hold my cameras. This is the black one. It's got a little zipper here. It houses my camera. And I usually put a camera charger back there as well. Um, and then you kind of zip that up. It is so cute. And up here I tend to put extra memory cards, whatever I might need. And boom, I have everything that I need right there. It's got the cute little strap. And I usually just wear it like that. And it's good for wherever I'm going. So that's that. And pretty much the same thing houses my camcorder. Next up here, I've just got some, you know, bag charms, some sunglasses over here, and then my little kind of different card holders for different things. I've got more sunglass cases back there. We've got my belt, my scarf. Um, this is like my receipt purse, so this just houses receipts. And every now and then I go through that and I empty out receipts that are expired, that no, are no longer valid. If I've, you know, kind of run out of the exchange date or whatever throughout the item or don't need the item, etc. You guys get the point. Over here, we've got these beautiful Budley headphone, what do we call these? Headphone holders? We'll call them that. Um, they're by the brand Budley. I'll put the link in the description box below for anyone who's interested. It's pretty neat. Keeps them nice and organized. I love it. I've got a coin purse right here. I've got this little card holder that houses my insurance cards. That's literally all that's there. So that I know that if I need to find my insurance stuff, just grab this and go. And there they are. Um, we've got this, that a friend gave for my birthday, super nice of her. This houses, I believe, just like my debit cards and cash, another coin purse. This houses my American change for when I do American trips. This also houses cash. I love those two colors. I love colors. I'm just a color girl. And that's that. I won this at a giveaway, lucky me, so that's also just sitting there. Um, so that's my valet drawer, my grab and go, and I throw those things, I throw them in my purse, and my purse is kind of good for whatever I'm doing that day. Usually whatever is there is what I need. Next up is my earrings um, drawer. I love earrings. I'm a jewelry girl. This is all um, cosmetic jewelry. There's nothing real. I don't keep any of my real stuff over here. It's all cosmetic stuff. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Don't need to go into details. That's just what that is. <laughs> And then next we've got, same thing, my, they're not called cosmetic, they're called costume jewelry. Costume jewelry, sorry. Then we've got my costume jewelry here as well. These are all my necklaces um, of different styles. I've conmarged this a lot, believe it or not. I've conmarged a lot of stuff and I still have this much. I'm probably going to do another round because I don't tend to reach for a lot of these anymore. So I might get rid of another set of things that I don't use anymore just because why well, keep stuff you don't use? Oh, this brooch, I love it. Oh, I love it. I've waited for the okay, perfect occasion to wear it forever. And I think it was Christmas or I think it was Christmas Day I wore it. And I was just like, oh, I feel so classy. Anyways, that's just that. And I have a little matching B one here that I think is super, super duper cute. So that's that for this drawer. And then we've got another valet style drawer um so in here i've kind of got like my combs brushes everything from my hair to little drawer thing here i put stuff in there we've got all of my makeup i don't want a lot of makeup i wear a lot of lipsticks that's what i do so this is pretty much all lipsticks and lip liners same thing over here lipsticks lip liners those are my extras that i haven't reached into yet we've got my collection of perfumes in this beautiful acrylic case right here and that's all that's in there. It's pretty simple. Everything's well laid out, but I can easily grab what I need, use it, put it back in its place, very important, and go. 
Next, we've got my drawer of, um, what do you call these again? Graphic tees. I have grown to really, really, really love these types of t-shirts. I pretty much live in them throughout the year. Summer, winter, fall, I pretty much live in these. I love them. They are well laid out how I need them. I know what shirts are there based on just seeing the little prints. I know exactly what the print says because I just remember them that well. So I grab whatever shirt I need for the day and go. Nice and simple. The next drawer is um, my jean drawer. I thought about arranging this the KonMari way, but I chose to do, with, to do it this way because this just works for my lifestyle better. Each roll pretty much has four pairs and I just know exactly what's there. These are arranged by colors. So over here I have my like colored style jeans. Over here I've got all dark jeans. Here I have same kind of thing, brown, earth, tony stuff. And here I have black jeans, plain and like just that works for me. That's how I've chosen to do it. I gotta go back for one second. I forgot to mention to you guys, I have these two acrylic trays in here that are holding these items, and I love them so much. One is from Shutterfly, and one is from my um, from Aaron Condren. I'll sort of B-roll of just what these trays look like. I'll take them out and empty them and show them to you guys to see how cool they are. This one says the Found Family on it and you can actually take the mat out and reinsert different designs this uh, this other one here is a permanent one and i put in pretty much photos that we took on our trips as a family and i kind of put them in there so you guys will see what that looked like um last drawer over here is my summer drawer and my fancy drawer a drawer that i pretty much never open um over here we've got like summer pants skirts and stuff like that on this side and on that side we've got our business wear in a sense, dress pants, etc. on that side. We come on over here and in this little corner over here I have my dresses, my summer, excuse me, further summer wear. So in here we've got rompers, dresses, short dresses is what I should say, very important. All my short dresses are kind of housed in this height over here. Um, I've got a little box here with just Christmas cards. <laughs> my son, my pop is in the video here and there. Um, he's listening to music, so he's occupied. Um, I've got Christmas cards and just little knickknacks in there. Got my little purse that my husband gave me for my, got me for my birthday. I never fold. That's the GM size. And then down here, I've just got a box of um, Converse shoes as well. So that's this section, pretty simple, nothing too fancy over here. Um, I didn't arrange that in a specific way because I arrange things in how I use them, not necessarily what looks aesthetically pleasing. I know aesthetically should be you know, all the colors here and whatever, but to me it's just, I have my whites, I've got my rompers that I love the most, I've got my clothes that are a little bit more sexy, you know what I'm saying, that I only wear on date nights. I've got clothes that I can wear out to a family picnic. And then I've got things that I can wear out on vacation. So I have them kind of sectioned out that way and it makes sense for me. Next over here in this beauty, we've got, hello, I leave my bag. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've got my, what I always call my granny um, section. So up there we just have more boxes of things I've acquired. <laughs> and then here I have all cardigans and sweaters, things that you throw on as opposed to things you put on over your head. That's what this section is. So here, these are all like button-up sweaters. It's one of my favorite of the season right now. It's a Roots. It is such a fabulous um, patch sweater. So I've got all those kind of, you know, cardigans up here, my jean jacket, and all of that. So those are all stored up there. Down here, I've got my even more granny cardigans, the ones that really look, you know, like that, but I just, I love them. They work for me. I make them look good and young, and that's all I care about. <laughs> um, so I've got them all stored down here. I've got my blazers that I never reach for anymore because I don't work a corp I don't work a corporate job, so I tend to never reach for them anymore, but I kept a few after my KonMari session, just in case for church I wanted to feel professional one day. I kept them for that purpose. Then starting up here again, we've got some more boxes that I've just kind of designed, not designed, displayed with bags, etc. Um, this shelf here, I've got some of my fashion books that I just love looking through because the photos are breathtaking. Over here, we have my wedding shoes, uh, these two pairs right here. I wore one for our... Do you remember? I don't know if I fully remember which one I wore for which purpose, but one I wore down the aisle 
And oh, I remember now, I wore this guy down the aisle. And I wore this for a traditional engagement ceremony. That was what the breakdown was. And back there I have a bag that I custom designed myself, part of my business. So I just have that displayed back there. And we've got this bag right here. It's not the real thing. It is a knockoff of Amazon. I can put that in the description box below. It's a basket bag that I love. Moving on to this shelf right here. I have this display here. And in here I tend to keep these pretty things that a friend of mine makes. And she just does such an awesome job. And I love displaying them in here. They're just like paper clips. Um, pretty much paper clips is what you see there. And I'll just show you guys another one that she has. She has two different styles. She has the ones with paper clips on them. And she's got the ones that are kind of more of like a clasp open. So I like to keep them displayed in here because I think they're so beautiful and just so sparkly. I have this that I also tend to use whenever I'm doing trade shows and stuff for my business. I'll put words in there that kind of pertain to whatever it is I'm selling or trying to promote. <laughs> and then I've got a photo of my son. Um, he was a month old at this point, and that is also my husband's baby picture. I don't know how old he was, but I just, I love, I love the pictures. They just make me feel, yeah. These two look alike. It's so crazy, uncanny. Like, it's crazy. If I showed you guys photos of my husband, like, through the years, him and my son are pretty much twins. My son's just a darker, more tanned version of him. Uh, so then we move on down here. And there's my baby photo. That's the youngest photo I could find of myself. So, that's just... That's me! <laughs> and my plant that is hanging on to its last leaf... This plant here has been through a few things. I'm hoping it survives. Um, it's hanging on to its last leaf here because I don't even know what happened, why the leaves kind of gave up on life, but they did. I've moved the location since and I've given some fertilizer. I'm hoping it rejuvenates itself. Winter is a ficky time for plants. I will say that. Ficky, is that the right term? Finicky? Finicky time, I think is what I'm trying to say for plants. I'm learning a lot, I will say that much. We've got some more fashion books over here as well. And down um, here I've got my two favorite nail polishes just because I love the color. Um, this is a, a Louboutin polish that my husband um, purchased for me on our trip to Vegas together. I think it was our first time that we went to Vegas together. Our son was only like six months old. He came with us and my husband bought these for me. So I keep them displayed here. And then in this little section here, this is completely empty, but I put this little card here that I think is so pretty. It says, there is luxury and simplicity. And I just love the simplicity of that display. Moving on to my first drawer here. This is my sweater drawer. This is where I'm real comfortable. This is my comfortable drawer is what we'll call it. My winter comfy. I've got kind of the same thing. My graphic sweater is all laid out. It's one of my favorite ones. It says organized AF. You can fill in the blanks. Um, this new one here says pretty brown thing. Pretty brown thing, repeat after me. No, that's not how the song goes, and I can't even sing, so I don't know why I put you guys through that, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, I have, these are all comfy sweaters displayed up here. Then in this drawer, we've got my nicer sweaters for when I'm going out and actually want to look cute, um, and want to try a little bit harder. <laughs> my son's head in the video. Um, when I want to try a little bit harder, I put these on. Again, just nicer sweaters. Nothing too crazy to see there. Next in this drawer, we have my socks. So, and at least this is just not all socks. It's just under garment style things. We've got like my real kind of summer socks, summer socks, uh, tight socks. Let's put your headphones back on. Listen to some music. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we've got uh, my winter tights over here. Back here I have summer style tights. I don't tend to wear tights much anymore to be honest just because that my wardrobe has changed to sweaters as opposed to like longer things. And back here I have all my undershirts that I wear under my clothes. We've got under undergarment camis here and then we've got the real thick winter socks as well. And those are all sections. These dividers are the scub dividers I believe they're called and they're also from Ikea. So in this drawer um, we have my summer wear. Here I have my summer shirts, all my kind of tanks and stuff like that are all over here. We've got the beach wear, my little, um, what do they call those again? Sarongs and such. 
that are folded in here. I don't own very many of them. Um, my bathing suits, and then these are all cover-ups as well. I don't own very many because I don't need that many. And this hat that has seen me through years and years. It looks floppy and looks disheveled, but if I were to put this bad boy on, you would not know how old it were. I wore a hat. I'm not going to try it now because I just messed up my hair for you guys. I have a hat. But that is one of my favorite hats. It's the only hat that I kept after my KonMari process because it's the only one that I ever wear because it is just an amazing hat. Last but not least in my drawer here is this guy here. This is my winter drawer. So in here we've got my head wraps that I use to kind of do my pretty little turbans and stuff like that. I also wear those in the summer, but this is where they made it because they're just a scarf. We've got gloves in here. In here we have pashmina style scarves. Over here I've got my hats. My massive, massive infinity scarf. And then back here we've got just, you know, cover-up scarves that you can wear on top of dresses and things like that. They're all displayed back there. Over here we've got simple, light, more fall-style scarves. And these are kind of triangle scarves sitting right here. So that's it for that drawer. Next in here we've got my dress section. So this is all my fancy dresses and my super, super long summer maxi dresses. We also have this pullout here that houses just a few more uh, pullover sweaters that I sometimes reach for, but not as often because they're just not as fun to put on, I guess. So that's another slide out. And then I have this hanger back here that houses my big, bell big belts that I feel like are out of style now. We'll see. I kept a few after my KonMari because I thought they might come back, but they haven't come back as I thought they would, so might have to get rid of a few of them. Uh, down here is supposed to be a laundry bin. Right now it's currently housing um, air paper. And that's what's in there. And then this is just some of my sticker books because, you know, I like to do stickers. So this is some sticker books down there as well. All right, up here we have just kind of a display section. So Kate Spade planner, one of my first planners that I fell in love with. I kept it because I love it so much. It's such a beautiful design. Um, that's a fake plant, but I love the color yellow, so I had to have it. And that's an empty lingerie box from a charm that's, I believe, on this bag, potentially. So in here, I've got my Speedy. Back there, I have a few more bags stored. And back there, we just have, I think, like my Pochette Métis, my Eva, and my Toilet for 26. And they're just stored back there. These are... In here, I have this beautiful um, handwritten letter to myself that I wrote this my first year out of school, out of university. And I was watching something that really spoke to my heart at that point in time, especially. So I literally sat there and I wrote down the words in the speech that resonated with me and I kept it. I could reprint it and do it, you know, do it more pretty and stuff, but I wanted to keep it with my handwriting because that's where I was at that time. I was so in need of those words that I wrote it down by hand and framed it. Um, this is a real plant that I got from Ikea, I believe. It's a sense, sense of error, I think. Could be completely wrong. Don't quote me on that. A case paid purse back there. Uh, we've got a Chanel here, we've got my Vogue music book here, my Aina MM size, this is a GST tote by the way, my Aina and MM size with my um, initials on a, on a luggage tag. Down here, another fake plant with yellow because as I said, I love yellow, so I had to do that. And then We've got this tray here, similar to the other tray that I showed you guys earlier, and in this tray I have my little mini bags that, I, that are housed here. Um, I don't really use these as much anymore, but they're there for special occasions and I might need them for things like these, for weddings and such. Um, they're all just housed right here and perfectly laid out. Then down here I have this little bin and in this bin we've got a blanket that I throw on again when it's cold and just some backpacks. I love, I love, love these backpacks. They're by Anello and Himawari. Those are the two brands that make them. They are just amazing. They are so versatile. They're lightweight. They are great for travel. I pretty much use them all the time when I want to go away on trips. Usually just take this and a crossbody, and that's pretty much my, um, kind of what I try to make my carry on is those two things. So that's that. Now we head over to the desk section of things. I'm going to pull the window closed just because it's probably better. 
So usually my iPad sits here and when I'm using it, it kind of sits on this display rack. This is just a kitchen recipe book holder is what this is. I love the rose gold, co rose gold color and I'll link it down below. Um, if I just take this off, you guys can see what it looks like. It looks like that. I love it. Um, it holds my iPad. We've got this Tautronics lamp here that I love to use because it's adjustable. You can dim it and you can also change the colors. It has, I think, three different colors. You have like a daytime setting. Um, uh, what are the colors? There's a few light colors that I can't think of right now. Daylight. Yeah, there. You guys see those. So I think this is pretty handy. It also has an adapter, like a USB um, plug at the back that you can use for charging your devices. Over here, I've got a little memo, memo board that I usually stick post-its on of things that are currently relevant or that I need to attend to. They're stuck there. My business card is up there. My computer desk setup, nothing too fancy. It's pretty simple. My agenda usually sits right here as well. Nothing crazy over here. Kind of speaks for itself, so we won't really get in depth of what that is. And this chair, I purchased it from Wayfair. I love it. It is a simple white chair. Um, with rose gold simple. accents, simple. and it's simple extremely, 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 extremely comfortable. I was using a plastic ghost chair for a very long time, um, but just I've started having some back issues from pregnancy, etc. That the wise choice to make was to switch over to a um, ergonomic chair, advised by my physiotherapist mm -hmm. as well. So I just kind of made that choice and changed it to that. Um, over here on this side, I've got this clock that I love. Love it from Ikea. Very simple. It just, it's it matches my office. This tray right here, believe it or not, when I bought it, it's actually a gray colored tray. I spray painted it gold to match the gold accents in my office. Um, this is an ombre. I don't know what they're called, but anyways, I chose to use them for different things. I chose to take one of them and make it a plant pot. The other one houses my scissors and all kinds of cutting tools that I use for working as well. Um, my water cup, I love, love water tumblers. So for those of you who might need to have like, you know, need to drink a certain, certain amount of water, this is my little trick right here. I have three. So I have one of these, one in my office, one in our bedroom, one in the kitchen. The goal each day is to fill all three up and finish all three. It's a venti size cup, so it's about 24 ounces each. So my goal each day is to, is to drink all three ventis to meet my water goal for the day. So that's what that is there. Um, something else that I keep, on hand is I just finished this so it's kind of like perfect timing it's a Bath and Body Works candle jar and what I tend to do with these when the candle burns out like this one has I you kind of take it you kind of get a pot of water hot you stick this in there when the water is done boiling stick it in give it about 30 seconds the bottom will melt enough that the candle wax will just kind of fall out once it falls out give it a good wipe inside if you have some gooby gone spray some gooby gone on there um, wipe it and you can reuse it for whatever purpose you want. For me, I reuse them for um, plant pots. I'll show you guys one right now. Here's a plant pot that is, this plant is kind of going through some things right now. But this used to be a Bath and Body Works jar and I've made it into a pot. So I have a few like that around the house that I have repurposed to use as plant pots. Over to the messier side of my bedroom office closet this situation here it's not as pretty but it's functional um so back here i've got this beautiful um bulletin board that i found one day at home sense as well and um i kind of used to stick some inspirational things on there uh christmas photos of my family just you know, a little something to have um in the office over here i've got my packing station when i'm packing orders that's done over here when i'm taking pretty photos that's done over here as well it's just a little um vinyl backdrop that I put some tape on and stuck it on my white desk so that I'm always ready to take some pretty photos with a marble backdrop. Um, over here we've got my calendar and I need to fill this in with a month plan. I haven't really filled it in as much as I usually used to because I literally just did this last night. Um, and then here I have my what do they call those magazine file folder racks and that's what that house is over there. I meant to tell you guys, um, my desk, believe it or not, is not actually a marble top desk. This is white, just like the top over here. It's from Ikea. And what I did is I just stuck some marble contact paper. I flipped it over so that back here it's still white. 
for this side, which did look like this. I didn't do a very good job, but it looks like that. It's just, um, what's that called? Chipboard or whatever board it is. That's what that is. I just stuck some marble contact paper on the other side. So if I ever change my mind, I can flip the top around and I still have the white on the one side and the marble top on the other side. So that's what that is. And I think we've pretty much covered everything in here. This was a set from HomeSense as well, the entire set. I did switch out a few things I just didn't like for myself. They had like some eyebrows or something up there. I didn't like it, so I switched that out. And I also switched that out and I made that, I made both those prints myself um, and switched those two out to kind of suit my style a little bit more. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. One more thing to show you guys is my light. My husband is amazing and he spent the time with me. He said he'll never do it again. But he was amazing. Helped me put this light up. It was a doozer to put up, I tell you. It was also from Wayfair, but we just... I don't remember what it was. I think it was like the strings were... It was... It was hard, but we got it done. And I love it. I am so glad he helped me do that. Um, but that's about it. I think that's my closet office. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. If you want a desk tour to see how I organize the drawers in here. It's the Alex drawer. That's also the Alex cabinet there. If you guys want to know more about all the details of things on here, let me know and I will gladly do a desk tour video. Give this video a thumbs up and that'll tell me that you want to see a desk tour. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!